everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to talk about another uh, module nest js winston this module is actually going to help us to create a logger i mean it is using internally internally the nest js logger only you don't need to write a custom logger class custom logger module you can just extend the existing logger provided by nest js so let's take a look onto that and then we will move to ELK stack, we will set up the Docker containers for the Elasticsearch log station Kibana. And we will see how we can push the logs from the Nest JS to ELK stack and then visualize it and see it on the Elasticsearch index. So we will install this Nest uh, Winston. Actually, this is another module which I was talking about. We can use it for the logging purpose. So I created a, a different uh, project for this and why i'm talking why this is important nest winston actually it is useful for asynchronous logging and what is that you might be wondering right so asynchronous logging is actually when you let's say you are writing an api and doing too much logging so writing the logs to the console is actually a part of process and if it is heavy then obviously your apis will be a little slow I mean, it is obviously in the milliseconds, but it is slow. But if you are doing asynchronous logging with the Nest Winston, then your actual API is not dependent on how much millisecond that console logger is taking. It is independent of that. And that's why this Nest Winston is also another choice to make your API faster. So what we need to do, I will just comment out all the existing things which we have done with the Nest Winston or Winston module. We are using here is a nest winston okay so i will just comment out everything and then here debug first of all let's clean up the the service because all these things we are not using now i will just comment that out i i have created a separate folder for this if you want to take a look so i will search nest winston module that's another very helpful module right and setup is very easy Winston module dot four root async four root and four root async. This is what you need to do. And if you wanted to inject it, then you can actually inject it inside a service also. So I will just use Winston module dot four root. This is how I will initialize this because this is external module. Winston module dot four root and here inside a service, I will just inject the nest Winston. There is a particular line Winston module provider. Okay, you can just inject this inside the service, I mean inside the controller constructor or inside a service constructor so that you should be able to use it. Instant module provider. And then once you got the logger instance, you should be able to use the logger inside your code. This dot logger dot log, this dot logger dot info. So we are injecting here is a Winston module provider. Or in the main.ts, uh, you just need to say is app dot use logger. In main.ts also we need to override because we need to override the default logger so what we can just say is app.use logger app.get winston module nest provider i mean this is all these these are the things which you will get from the, the documentation also there is no rocket science here so i'm getting nest winston and this is how i have overrided the logging purpose and you can see i need to fix the logging here what all different transport modes okay file console or different uh, transport modes all those things are supported by this what you are doing is inside a for root instant module dot for root you can actually pass the transport array so the transport array is console log or maybe it is using log rotate all those transport modes you can specify inside a transports array this is your service name and color, pretty print, process ID, app name, all those things we are going to print. So here I need to fix the import for the Winston. And you can see here, now you see the difference of the logging here. It is not a new logger module, new, new logger service we have written. We are extending the internally uh, provided, uh, pro provided logging using Nest JS logger. Right? And you can see the logs here. It is changed. The context is different now. Right, it is using demo app nest JS async logger which we have set in the module and the log instance route explorer mapped part it is giving you the detailed explanation okay where this uh, request is coming from and we can also check by putting some log statements inside our service so 
if you wanted to replace the logger this is how you can do it app.useLogger and Winston module which we are already doing and this is how you will do in the service you will inject the Winston module nest provider and then you can just add a logger inside the services okay this is how I wanted to log so this documentation talks about okay how you can use it in service how you can how to register this particular module and then how to register it inside a controller and this is the kind of a logging you will get uh, Winston unknown logger level error doing log log check so here you can see the context name the timestamp the date and uh, the logging mode either error info verbose debug and the message which you are printing okay this is the log statement which is coming here I can hit this URL again and again and here you can see I'm getting the log message produced by nest Winston now we just need to take it to the ELK stack this is how I'm getting the logger instance Winston a module provider is injected inside a controller or maybe in any other service and you just do this dot logger dot log this dot logger dot error this dot logger dot debug whatever the logging strategy you wanted to use so that's it and now let's uh, dockerize the ELK stack uh, in the next video